I would like to have a look at the uh, interesting bit though. The boot. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here, actually a blustery day in Lincolnshire. I recently got to test drive the brand new KGM Tivoli, formerly Sangyong, thanks to the team at Drayton Motors in Boston. As part of that, I took the car to dad's house so he could have a look at the car. Well, somehow I managed to lose that footage. I found it again now and wanted to share it with you guys uh, in this video, which is a little bit of found footage. Dad checking out the KGM Tivoli. Enjoy. Ah, well, look who's looking at the Sangyong Tivoli. I'm devastated. I have just filmed a 20 minute <laughs> review road test and uh, my microphone wasn't switched on, so I've got to do it all over again. You've Diesel. got- Diesel. It's not a diesel. No, it's not. Um, have a look. So you thought it was electric and then you thought it was a diesel. There's only one other thing it could be unless well, it doesn't run on chip fat. It's got an intercooler. It has, which tells you it's turbine. It's a turbocharged, yeah. So we saw one of these, didn't we, at the local garden yeah. centre a little while ago and we was like, well, hang on a minute, what's, what's that all about? Have a look round, what do you think? <laughs> you, want to, you feel as though you need to unlatch something with that. You don't like those little bonnet well, things? No, it's just that they, they make you think, don't they? they well, they look a little, little bit like Lego pieces, don't they? <laughs> I'm not sure what they're about, to be honest with you. Overall styling, what do you think? He's very quiet about the Tivoli. You're allowed to not like it. No, what I'm thinking... It's just like every other sort of big SUV type thing, but a lot of the styling on it makes you think, oh, electric car. Do because, you think so? Yeah, because you've got the sort of bits like this, you know what I mean? Like what? Sort of random sort of strange bits <laughs> that electric cars have, but it just ain't got blue bits on it to no. say. No, no, or green bits. Yeah, or green bits. run around the block in it. But it reminds me of that big thing that Amy's got. Which is a Kia Sorento, something like that. Yeah, go on then. Let me jump in the back, and you can you can take it for no, a yeah, spin. No, you you drive in. You want me to drive yeah. it? Oh, all right, then. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Let us go for a test drive in the Tivoli. I thought I would bring this to one of the harshest critics. As soon as I sat in it, I said to myself, "Well, it's got a quality feel about it. Its budget. This car, it." is £23,600, yeah. but it doesn't feel cheap, does it? You get a little ding-dong on startup as well. Ready? Oh, it's a little engine car then as well. Oh, it didn't do it. Hang on a minute. Let's do the ding-dong. You get a little show on the way out. Excellent. <laughs> What makes you say it's a little engined car? Sounds like a little engine. So under the bonnet is a 1.5 turbocharged petrol engine. And it's an automatic, this one. One thing that I did notice, uh, and I didn't notice until I got off the forecourt, is it hasn't got electronic parking brake. It is a manual uh, Good, brake, that's a good thing. Which is a good thing. Do, just try that then. Does, that, does this get in the way of the umbrella? Yeah. yeah. Some cars it does. Yeah. This is not overly nice, to be honest with you. The, yeah, that um, gets in the way of working the handbrake. Yeah, it? it does. And for whatever reason, there's a great big gap here. So you you have this put down. Oh yeah, that's to put you. Oh, I know. You put your brolly in or something. <laughs> what do you think, though, overall? Well, the first thing I jumped in. It's got a quality first feel. Impressions, yeah. It's not. You know, it's not scratchy plastic. This is scratchy plastic, but it's got not. To remember, it's. Over six years since I worked on new cars. But, no, let's let's take it for a spin. Yeah. Uh, it's got heated seats. It's got heated steering wheel. Oh, them heated seats is they make you trump. <laughs> I don't think you need any heated seats. Listen to the yeah. dum ding dum. It's quite nice that. Media Center has got DAB digital radio and a navigation system built in as standard. What else have we got? We've got lane assist, parking assist, hill, what's this? Hill descent control. There's a bit of road noise. 
Yeah. <laughs> what do you think to the ding dong? <laughs> you used to, wouldn't you? I'm going to say it flight up. This isn't as nice as a Swift. It's not as nice as the Suzuki Swift. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. The ride is not so nice. It's it's a good ride position. It does feel nice. It feels it's, it's unlike anything I've ever driven. It does feel a bit like driving me a van. I would have, I would have thought anybody that's used to a more modern SUV, modern car, would like it. I think me being an older person, I like the easy going, quiet, comfy ride of the Swift. This is more hard. That bing bong, by the way, was lane assist. Let oh. me just put the pedal to the metal and let the 1.5 engine do its thing. Okay. We're up to 60 now. does get a bit noisy, doesn't it? Yeah, but we're, we're on a crappy old road, aren't we? Exactly, we're on Lincolnshire's finest back road. Lovely old dice dual carriageway. And it does not have any knocks and He's got plenty of go for a 1500, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It certainly has. Well, now I've developed a horrible noise. Eh? Yeah? I think it was just the air conditioning. Oh, yeah, was down. it? Lovely. This, oh. yeah, it's, it's very, very creak and rattle free. It is, yes. <laughs> My concern is this um, KGM and Sang Yong, as you know, I'm a pro. You know what that is, do you? That's the lane keeping system. Oh, yeah. What was it? What was was you crossing the white line? Was yeah, you? yeah. Oh, that's clever. It is clever, it's also annoying because on these back roads, I'm yeah, trying to. Nissan had got that on them. I don't know how to turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. I've got it switched off now. Um, what was I saying? I'm a prof I'm a Proton aficionado, and technically, Proton left the UK in 2014. And so, getting parts for your Gen 2 that you bought in 2012 is now nigh on impossible. What is the reliability like on the Sangyong, the KGM fleet? Have you ever worked on them? No, mate. No. no. And that's oh. the issue. I don't know yeah, how. But as they get more and more vehicles in the country and more and more dealers, there'll be more product and then they sell more stuff and there's more parts in there. But here's what I'm thinking if the bubble bursts in 10 years' time and KGM leaves the UK. Yeah, but that could happen anything, can't it? It could. Yeah. Where do you get your bits from? So on this back road then, what do you reckon to the handling? Seems all right, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because this is particularly nasty old back roads, isn't they? What it's saying? nearly as good as a purple smile in new suspension. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a hard ride. It is. Um, the tyre pressures are quite high at 39 psi all the way around. Well, that's high, isn't it? That's for economy. It must yeah. Be. And you've got different driving modes. What driving modes have we got here? We've got sport mode, normal mode, winter mode. Hold drive mode to select winter. I don't know what winter mode is, but let's put it into sport mode. What does that do? Do you feel sporty? It's a lovely thing, though. I don't feel sporty. And, uh, I'm going to put it into normal mode. I was saying, I'd never heard of them until we spotted that one in the car park. Yeah. And yeah, well, my first invention must be some sort of electric thing, and it's not. It's a, it's a real a real car. What <coughs> other SUV vehicles, brand new, can you buy at the moment for 23 grand? And I don't think the answer is anything. Well, this, uh, this is the... This spec. This spec, this car. It's cheaper than a Dacia. Yeah. It's £22,600. £22,600. They start at twenty grand, and actually I've seen them advertised at the dealer I got this from, Drayton Motors, a second-hand one for yeah. £18,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll sell, mate, won't it? Because people want an economy car. 
and the Motability Scheme is available on as well. Right. Your review of the KGM Tivoli? Well, it would be just a job on the Motability Scheme. It's nice and high, isn't it? Yep. Easy for people to get in and out of. Lots of space. Yeah. Get multiple inspectors in the back. Well, no, it's not so much that. It's the getting in and out of them, isn't it, that people like. Would you have one? No. Well, yes. Well, yeah, definitely. Especially if I was thinking, right, I'm, um, I'm going to have it on my three-year lease and then take it back and get another one. Is that on the motability scheme? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Slow down, please. Oh, no, it's got them circles on the front. I can't. I thought you were talking to me then. I no. thought I'm doing 20 miles an hour. No, that's the one that was meeting us. The Audi. You didn't have the slowing power. Mrs. John Cooper likes it. She likes the car. She likes the interior. She likes the look. She did say, but it's got white writing all over it. Yes, dear. That is advertising from Drayton Motors. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't come with that. That's not part of the deal. You don't buy it like that. <laughs> She couldn't, she couldn't work that out. <laughs> but it's got some poke. It certainly has. When I was in the trade, there was getting smaller and smaller engines, making them more efficient. Do you do the old Euro capability in them? It is telling me I'm getting 25.4 miles to the gallon, which doesn't seem a lot. Yeah, but you've sort of been messing them out, haven't you? But I've been messing about in the car, on the back roads, through town. I would expect real world, if you're commuting in it, you're going to be getting between 40 and 50, aren't you? You want that, don't you? You do want that. Anything less than that, I don't think is acceptable. But you don't hate it. No, we well, well don't. Have we got to eat our words about what we said about the Tivoli when we were at the uh, garden centre the other day? What did we say about it? I think we said we didn't like it. Well, I thought it was some sort of electric thing with all the... Let's face it, it's a bit left field, some of the styling. Yes. Whether the styling will put some of the buyers off. I don't know. It's got a funny nose. Ding dong, ding dong. It's got to be better than a lot of stuff I've seen in the past. We shall use the reversing camera now again to reverse. But, check surroundings for safety. Remember. Well, they cur curve on a Nissan to point in the right direction. <laughs> See, that was bing bong into... Oh! There was a different tone there. This is getting, getting agitated about your parking. <laughs> it's, it's... Well, I am about four foot away from your fence and it was bing bonging. No, it's... What do you reckon? Oh, I'll be honest with you. If somebody says you've got to drive around in this thing, I'd say, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say, I'm not blinking lightly. I would like to have a look at the uh, interesting bit, though. The boot? Mm, yeah, boot, a boot. <laughs> yeah, the, the front and the back end. Let's take a look under the bonnet. That's my favourite bit so far. <laughs> Now it is time for you to go to work. <laughs> you have arrived at the garden centre. Take a look under the bonnet then. Have a look at the 1.5. It's quite a powerhouse Where's there. this derived from? That's interesting to know. The EX Go I. You me old mate. What you're thinking is, what is the engine? Well, it doesn't look like a K-series engine. <laughs> <laughs> no. What can you see? Anything interesting? No, I'm, just... no, I'm interested to see what it is, that's all. You're not allowed to take this one apart, I'm afraid. I don't want to, I'm just intrigued. After I'd been out in that swift, I went to have a 
see what a mild hybrid is, and then I realise why the alternator looks strange. I think it recharges back in, doesn't it? It's, it's got another big battery somewhere, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Not, not like an EV battery, no. but a 48 volt or something, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And it puts a bit of power in through the alternator and stuff. This is more conventional technology, but I didn't know whether it was derived from another manufacturer, that's all. At least it's not like a I mean, Austin was all the years ago. It'd be leaking oil now after its first test drive after <laughs> PDI. Now it's survived the PDI. We're okay. This goes back to the discussion, though. There aren't no rubbish cars anymore, are there? No. They're all, they're all up to speed now, aren't they? I like it, in a way. It's just, I could live with it if somebody says that's your car. Yeah, I could live You're with You're not that. dead against it. No. It's not as nice as the Suzuki. <laughs> the Swift? Yeah. It's not as nice as the Suzuki, but it's a different kettle of fish. The Suzuki would replace Mum's Hyundai i10. It wouldn't replace what this is, which is an SUV, isn't it, for a small family? Yeah. Plenty of space in the back. It looks quality, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not bad to drive. I'm surprised about the price. For the spec, and you know. Ah. Yeah, no spare tyre in there. No. But you've got space to put one. Well, nobody knows how to change them anyway these days. Now, what's all of this about then? You can put a you can put another floor in it, right? Like you could with the original Suzuki Swift. I said the original. Yeah, the not my Nissan Note. Fifty nine plate, not your Nissan Note. You can get a plastic floor in yeah. there, and then it will take it level when you fold the seats down. Right. It's good to know. Let's put it like this: If somebody says you could have one of these for free, Pete, I'd say yes, blooming please. There are a lot of parts on here that's still branded Sangyong. Yeah, I was looking under the engine and I see that with a little Including S. this. And check out the door plate. Sangyong Motor Company Limited. <laughs> Why not? I think they are, yes. I think they're trying to get away from the Sangyong name, which is fine. Maybe KGM is easier for people to pronounce and understand. Is it something Korean? No, it's not Korean. No, what it's is it? KG Motability. KG is the company. Yeah. There you are. But it certainly... It looks more expensive than it is. Yeah? That's what I'm trying to think, yeah. Yeah? We've come a long way from the Sangyong Rodus and the Rexton, haven't we? Well, not really had a lot to do with them, old mate, but... Obviously, I'm looking at this with the branding and the stickers and the advertising on, but... Without that on, I think it would look at an interesting thing in a car park. That's it then. The KGM Tivoli saga with me has come to an end and I've brought it back to the dealership. I'm going to hand the keys over. And am I going to be sad about that? Kind of. But by the time I get home, I'll have got over that. My advice to you if you are considering a Tivoli is go and look at one. Get the keys for one and have a good extended test drive if you can. Take one home for 24 to 48 hours and try and live with it in the real world. Do your shopping, take the kids to school, take your dog for a walk and have a good think about it. Get up in the morning, look at it on the driveway with a cup of coffee and think, am I going to really want to spend my £23,000 on this budget SUV? And if the answer is yes, go and do it. After three years, if you get it on the Motability Scheme or on a PCP Scheme, you could always chop and change it. Don't rush into buying one of these, I think is my takeaway. But I wouldn't not be seen dead in one. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this latest car review. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I've selected a couple more videos from that sort of thing. 
uh, here you might like those. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so to stay up to date with the channel.